Hello, it's Tyler Schulte, and today I'm going to be showing you how to restore your first generation or second generation MB iPod Touch or your iPhone 2G or iPhone 3G to a custom white door firmware. Of course, I'm going to be to do this. I'm going to need my iPod Touch or iPhone, in this case, an iPod Touch 2G MB, your USB syncing cable, and obviously your computer. Software related, you will need iTunes, preferably the latest version, as well as the latest version of iReb, as of today it's R5, and you will need your white door firmware. Now there are two firmwares currently available. One is a remix of 4.2.1, and the other is of 5.0. I recommend the 5.0 because I believe the team has put a lot more effort into it, and it also I, runs a lot smoother. Now, to start off, you will need to open iTunes, and you will need to transfer all of your purchases to avoid any losses. So just to do that, you connect your iPod, right-click, and do Transfer Purchases. As of course, I've already done that, because all I own is music and iBooks, because I do not really hog up all my resources on my iPod with games like I used to but once you have transferred your purchases you can now go to your, wherever you downloaded iReb and launch it now first of all if you're in Windows 7 or Vista you need to go to properties and it, you need to make sure that it is unblocked in some programs Windows 7 will block it if it senses it's from another computer and this will not allow it to communicate with USB devices and that is not very good when you're trying to enter DFU mode. Now, when you launch iReb, you need to go and find your device model. You need to click on it, and it will give you five seconds to start it. Within five seconds, you need to hold the power and home buttons for ten seconds. After ten seconds, you can then go and release the power button and continue holding the home button, like so. Now, although it shows 30 seconds, after about 15 seconds, it should just cancel this, and I should be in Pwn DFU mode. This will allow me to restore my iPod Touch to my custom firmware without any iTunes errors. And it should exploit it once this driver installs. You just gotta wait. I hate it whenever I, Windows 7 has to install the driver. This is probably gonna fail since the driver needed installed. So I'll just redo it, and it should work. So here we go. Three, two, one. Okay, there it's sensing the device up, and it's in DFU mode. Now it's exploiting it, and it now tells me I am in phone DFU mode with a black screen, not the iTunes recovery logo. So now we can just close iRed, and we can begin the restore process. Now to do this, It'll, iTunes will say that it is in recovery mode, although that is not correct, it is in Pwn DFU mode, and you must restore it. Just click OK to that error, hold Shift on Windows, or hold Alt on a Mac, and click Restore. Now navigate through your files to where you downloaded the IPSW from White Door, and click Open. It should begin to extract the software as shown, and then it will begin to verify the restore with Apple. Now, the, this will re, what White Door does is restores it to a modified 3.1.3 PS, IPSW, which is the main reason why iPod Touch 4Gs and so on are not supported because clearly they cannot go past 4.1, which is when they were introduced. Okay, and now it is done and it is giving me the message that it is restarting, which it indeed is. Now we shall just wait it out. All right, and here it comes right now. All right, we have the iTunes logo, and there is this which is normally seen when you on 4.0 above when you go and slide to unlock it'll tell you how to edit the home screen so now as you can see iTunes still does not detect it so that is normal just give it time and it will be detected and we'll just wait a while
so I've not heard the battery n notification. As you can see, it is not sensed you know, iPod, the power cord. So it is still. So I believe it is still booting the process that allows iTunes to detect it, which happens to be one of the plist files in the launch daemons. Excuse me if I say that wrong. I just find that's how I want to say it, and I think that's how it is said. And there it is. That the launch daemon just started up. So now iTunes can finally detect it. And it is being detected. And here is where I shall set it up as a new iPod. Continue. I shall leave that name. I shall not automatically sync anything. I'll do that manually later. And then we'll all hit done. Alright. And we are now done jailbreaking. And we are completely jailbroken now. No restrictions from Apple's jail. And as you can see, I am running White Door on 3.1.3. And if you want, you can customize it. There's many customizable features, like in ge settings, general usage. You have your battery percentage. And you have your configurator to configure multitasking and folders. And overall, White Door is a very good firmware, and I highly recommend that you restore to it. And there is my new stand, my reminders, and here is no camera, of course. There's iCloud and Cydia. This was my first YouTube video I've ever made, so if you liked it, l thumbs up, subscribe, whatever you people do out there all day. But overall, I just hope you liked the video, and I should be making more. So, adios.